Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the uh, Pro Wrestling Logic YouTube channel and the wonder that is the um, wonder that is the Dynamite review for the 12th of uh, January 2022. Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish come out to start the show. Cole reminds the audience that he's undefeated since coming to AEW and the boys are back together. It's a new era in AEW. The Young Bucks interrupt. O'Reilly wasn't having that, says he doesn't need their help or interference. Matt said, this is our company, and they're the longest reigning tag champs in AEW history. They want their belts back. O'Reilly and Fish want the titles too, and no team can stand between them and those titles, including the Bucks. Cole tried to calm everyone down, uh, comparing Apple accolades to best friends who's Subsequently interrupts, Cole gets in Orange's face, but Orange attacked and everyone brawled. Orange then gets the upper hand, uh, but Cole low blowed him to even the score. Chris Statlander gets in between Cole and Orange, so Britt Baker comes out and curve stomped her. She super kicks Orange, and Cole did the same following the boom knee strike. Baker and Cole kissed during the segment and signified their relationship. Wardlow video package aired. Um, CM Punk defeats Wardlow with MJF. Uh, extended angle more than a full match here. Not a bad deal, but it's still kind of wonky. Wardlow nails Punk with a shoulder tackle early. Continues to overpower him throughout. Punk is uh, both men teasing their finisher. Forcing Punk to roll out to the floor. Leading to commercial Wardlow is in control upon return. After being sent into the corner, Punk tries to start a comeback with Tornado DDT, but Wardlow just tosses him off. Punk then reverses a powerbomb attempt and landed a series of kicks and lariats, but Wardlow wouldn't go down. Punk finally hits a springboard clothesline. Punk then hits a knee strike and uh, tries to get in the face of MJF, turns it into a powerbomb by Wardlow. Wardlow then goes for powerbomb uh, series, but then... Um, he manages to hit four in a row. Wardlow has the match won. MJF interrupts the count, saying that he wanted Wardlow to do more. Wardlow obliged. It still wasn't enough for MJF. He then made up to seven power bombs before MJF demanded that Wardlow powerbomb Punk through the timekeeper's table. Wardlow then follows through with that. The official started the count, but Punk barely made it back into the ring. The count of nine. MJF wanted more power bombs, but Punk cradled Wardlow for a three count. After the match, MJF berated Wardlow for losing and shoved him. Wardlow looked like he's about to snap, but Spears runs out and cooler heads prevail. Taz joins on commentary as Dante Martin defeats Powerhouse Hobbs with Ricky Starks. What a stupid maneuver there, as there's more money in Hobbs than there ever will be in Dante Martin. Martin breaks out on the ramp and attacks Hobbs, who meets him halfway up the ramp. Big running crossbody sends both men crashing to the outside of the ring. Hobbs then catches a dive and hits a spine buster on the floor. This leads to Hobbs beating down for several minutes. Hobbs then goes for the torture rack, but Dante escapes before running straight into a huge tackle from Hobbs. He then whips Dante to the floor. Uh, Starks stomps on him, and then the beatdown continues through the break. Dante then fires up elbow smash and lands a missile dropkick from the top for near fall, then follows up with a springboard to the floor. Uh, Hobbs then cuts Dante off with a big impact. Starks then tries to interfere. Jay Lethal runs out and cuts Starks off. Dante then hits the double springboard moonsault for the win. Jericho coming out with the inner circle, who are who've never been more irrelevant, interviewed backstage about being named the PWI 2021 Faction of the Year. Does anyone even care about that anymore? Anyway, they promised to dominate the company. He said 2.0 tries to interfere in the TNT Championship match tonight. They'll send them packing. Eddie Kingston walks up and says that Santana and Ortiz would be in a tag team champions without Jericho. And then Jericho gets hot, but Santana gets everyone to calm down. Jericho said that if he and Kingston get involved in the match in the main event, he'd kick his tail. Uh, MJF comes out on the ramp all upset. He says that Punk had been uh, feeding a world of hurt after the fluke victory over 
and Oaf next week. Punk will take on his fir- first L in AEW. It seems like MJF is about to challenge Punk to a match, but he instead books Punk versus Sean Spears. Uh, seems like we've been through the run through the pinnacle before. Anyway, Super King, uh, Super Click, and Red Dragon are backstage. Cole then says Chris Statlander wasn't safe anymore and that he and Britt Baker challenged Statlander and Orange Cassidy to a mixed tag. Hangman Page promo, Lance Archer's return. Champ comes out, gets a good reaction over the past month. He spent 90 minutes in the ring with one of the best in the world and he said that all for the AEW Championship, he needs a new challenger. Dan Lambert comes out, interrupts, uh... Comparing Paige to all the other cowboy wrestlers throughout history, Paige told Lambert to get his point, and then Lambert uh, complimented Paige, saying he didn't take the Cody Rhodes route of using backstage politics to get to the top. Paige had earned everything except the cowboy persona he wears. Lambert said to keep the title uh, and the money, but stop disrespecting the legacies of the wrestlers that came before Segment's about to end. Lance Archer returns from injury. He gets in Lambert's face, but suddenly attacks Paige and beats him down, hitting the blackout through a chair. Arn Anderson's backstage with his son Brock and Lee Johnson. He said they they were proud of these two, but Tully Blanchard and FDR interrupted and tried to recruit Brock. They challenged Brock and Lee to a match next week. Serena Deeb defeats uh, Hikuru Shida. Deeb chopped out... um, uh, she just leg during the uh, entrances. Uh, she tries to attack Shida with a kendo stick, but Shida kicked out of the way. Uh, Deep drops Shida's knee over steel steps. Match starts, and Deep immediately starts targeting the leg, then goes for the serenity lock, and Shida submits in about three minutes. Uh, I guess Shida is going back to Japan. No huge loss there. After the match, Deeb cleaned out the official, and the doctor repeatedly smirked. She does knee it, it, it gets beat down with a kendo stick some more. Jurassic Express and Christian Cage are backstage. They wish Ray Phoenix well and uh, issued an open challenge to the top five tag teams. John Silver and Alex Rendell of the Dark Order arrive and challenge them to a match on Rampage. Not exactly sure that this is where we need to go. Matt Hardy cuts a promo on Penta saying that he would delete him, send him to the hospital to be with his brother Penta. Uh, with Alex Abrahantes defeats Matt Hardy with Friday Party. Uh, too bad this match wasn't deleted. Anyway, uh, they dueled with the Sierra Melo and delete chance. Penta then does the glove deal. They trade strikes ahead of the commercial. Once back, Penta hits sling blades and hits a uh, back stabber, back breaker for a two count. Hardy then comes back with a DDT for a two, and they both wrestle for position on the top. When Penta is able to hit a stomp on the uh, on Hardy for a two count, Hardy then hits a side effect on the apron for yet another near fall. Penta escapes. Twist of Fate and hits an enziguri before avoiding a moonsault. He then hits Beer Factor for another two count. After the match, Penta addresses Malachi Black in Spanish, saying that he'd show Penta some respect. The lights go out. Black appears, attacking Abrahantes. Black then down Penta with a high kick and after Penta ma- went after the mask, but the varsity blondes run out. Lights go out again. Brody King appears in the ring. Dispensing everyone, Black and King are the current PWG Tag Team Champions, uh, referred to as the Kings of the Black Throne. Chris Statlander, Red Velvet, and Layla Hirsch are backstage. With Tony Schiavone, Hirsch wants Statlander to focus on their upcoming trios match before Velvet talks her down. Caster calls out Darby Allin and Sting in a pre-match rap, acclaimed uh, are on one of the top-ranked tag teams, acclaimed. Anthony Bowens and Matt Castro defeat Bear Country, Bear Bronson, Bear Boulder. Bear Country overpowered the claimed during this stage. Then they create some some space, thrust kick, and Castro takes advantage with a diving crossbody. Um, Boulder then fights off a claimed then on their own and sets up the Bear Bomb. Castro avoids it and rolls up Bronson for a near fall. He then hits the mic drop for the win. 
After the match, Sting makes entrance. Darby Allen attacks Caster from, from being behind as Sting takes out Bowens with the bat. Uh, Pac video promo played. He says he's... Uh, he said that he was blind now, but vision has never been so clear. Uh, 114, Rampage, Cole versus Trent Verretta, Statlander, Red Velvet, and Layla Hurst versus Nyla Rose, Penelope Ford, and the Bunny, Sean Spears, and Andrew Everett, and the Tag Team Championship, Jurassic Express versus Dark Order, Silver, and Reynolds, Dynamite on 119, uh, Intergender match, Cole and Baker, Orange Cassidy, Chris Statlander, uh, Punk vs. Spears, Deep vs. Sky Blue, Cody Rhodes Returns, and Sting and Darby Allin vs. The Acclaimed. David Crockett is there to present the interim TNT Championship to the winner. Eddie Kingston also came out to ringside. Uh, and then we go to the main event, if you can call it that. Uh, Garcia and, and Guevara... Uh, of course, Guevara with, with Chris Jericho defeats Daniel Garcia. Uh, they go right away after each other. Garcia dropped Guevara with a right hand and hits a big kick. Guevara returns fire. They trade strikes, and then they go to the floor. Uh, flip dive back in the ring. Garcia catches Guevara with a blockbuster, taking control ahead of the commercial. Back to cradle, allow Guevara to get a... Uh, advantage, they even the odds with a pump kick, and Gar Garcia blocks the GTH and applies Scorpion Deathlock and wrenches it on down, Garcia, uh, Guevara actually escapes, and after another exchange, Garcia locks on a sleeper and uses a backbreaker to, uh, continue his onslaught, he then goes for the pile driver for your fall, 2.0 arrives and attacks Jericho, on the outside, Guevara goes for the GTH and... Hits it after distraction attempt for 2.0. Impact's enough for Guevara to retain. Crockett uh, presents the championship to Guevara, but 2.0 attacked both Jericho and Kingston. Make the save. Miscommunication leads to them exchanging words as the show goes off the air. Weak way to end the show. Next week's show looks better than this, but overall not a terrible show. We'll be back with more right after this.